Hi everyone. So I thought I'd show you what a full day of eating looks like for me on the carnivore diet. Make sure that you stick around as well to the end because I'm going to show you something quite crazy. Just how much meat and eggs I buy and consume within a two or three week period. And it's, it's a lot. People start the carnivore diet for different reasons. Mostly I'd say it's for health reasons, for health purposes. Definitely is for me. But on top of that, I'm trying to build muscle. I'm trying to see how far I can take this physique that I'm building. Simply just from eating red meat and fat only. This is the first meal of the day so far. It's now two o'clock. Three beef patties, some rashes of bacon, two beef sausages and six scrambled eggs. Sprinkled some salt on top and some cheese. Plenty of fat in it as well. And it tastes absolutely incredible. Like, that's one of the best meals I could ever eat. It's so, so nice. I honestly thought that I would get bored of eating meat. And eating the same thing over and over again. A lot of people, they need variety. They need different flavors. My body now craves that taste. The meat taste. It craves fat more than anything, I'd say. The fat is what gives it the flavor. And it's just it's just surreal. Like, it tastes so good. Especially after a workout, my body is low on nutrients. It's just been, you know, through a real tough two-hour training session. Now it needs to refuel itself. It needs to recover. And when it starts to taste that fat and that meat, my God, like, the flavors just burst in your mouth. It's so, so good. So what about calories then and you know portion sizes and is there a minimum that we should be eating what time of day should we be eating well really all those questions are irrelevant in all honesty calories i have absolutely no idea and i couldn't care less either calories are not actually that important they're only important when you're eating carbs and sugar protein and fat though it, it doesn't matter. Your body metabolizes fat and protein very differently to it, to the way it does carbohydrates. And I just eat fat. I eat protein. I eat meat until my body says we're good. Second meal of the day then. So we've got two steaks, two shoulder steaks and four scrambled eggs. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to try and portray absolute perfection that the carnivore diet is you know, great tasting all the time. Everything is rosy and perfect. Like, it's not. Some steaks that I eat, I don't enjoy them at all. Like, in that steak there, there's a big line of gristle going through it because it's a shoulder cut. And shoulder doesn't have much fat on it, but it has quite a lot of gristle. Second meal of the day, done. Uh, absolutely stuffed. Over the last seven months, I've noticed that not every single meal is going to taste absolutely out of this world. Some steaks, I'm like, oh my God, I never want this to end. And some steaks, I'm like, from the get-go, taste horrendous. But I suppose the most important thing really is just the nutrition, the level of nutrition that I got from that. You know, my body is full. I'm good now for the rest of the night, most likely. Depends how I'm feeling now in the next, say, two hours or so. It's only 6.30 at night. I'm going to finish now, though, with a nice cup of tea and a dash of milk. Okay, so likely the moment you've all been waiting for. How much meat am I buying and consuming within a two to three week period? Bearing in mind as well that this is not supermarket meat. I don't buy from the supermarket anymore. I don't trust it. And I recommend that you don't either as well. Obviously, work with what you can, but avoid supermarket meat the best way you can. I buy directly from a farm. It's grass-fed, grass-finished, injection-free. Um, you know, I can see the cows in the field and know how they're raised. So I got a really good sort of understanding of where my meat has come from and the process it goes through straight into my hands. Massive, massive difference in quality, like a huge, huge quality compared to supermarket. And it's just, it's just very odd supermarket meat. I do a separate video on it, you know, where I get my meat from and I even take it to the farm as well. So you can have a look around and it's, you know, it's fantastic really. But Let's get into it. Kicking off with 10 ribeyes. And I'm just going to let this run really because it looks so great. I love watching it. And I get so hungry when I see this man. Like My body literally craves this stuff. It's hard to believe as well. It's hard to wrap our heads around that red meat contains everything that the human body requires to sustain life and perform optimally. 
And this is what we're not educated on. We're told that red meat is really bad for us and it causes all these problems. When in reality, we've been eating red meat for, for the last well, three million years. Like we've literally evolved eating red meat and fat. It's what our bodies are designed to digest and absorb. We require it. And the more you do this, the longer you do this, the more that realization starts to kick in. And you you recognize actually that, wow, well, we've been misled as a society to the greatest extent ever. I mean, it's literally a crime against humanity that we are told that our very food source, our natural food source, is bad for us. If you stop and think about it and look around you for a second, society is the fattest and sickest it's ever been in human history. We are designed to be optimally healthy from cradle to grave. That's how we're supposed to live. We're not supposed to live reasonably okay, you know, sort of healthy, I suppose, and then everything is just downhill after a certain age. Health is your birthright. Health is what you're supposed to be in all the time. And red meat is the path to get there. If you're on the fence about this, right, you're hearing this for the first time, you're wondering, right, this guy, he, he can't be telling the truth. Surely not. He hasn't built that physique just from eating red meat. And, you know, whether you believe me or not, it's up to you. I could care less, really. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. And if you want to do it and, you know, perhaps replicate it, of course, it's over to you. But go and check out the tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of comments and people out there in the world now that are seeing incredible life transformations health transformations from this way of living from introducing animal products back into their life vegans who have been you know a, a decade on plants their health is deteriorating they switch over to meat and suddenly they've found a new lease of life they've recovered they've found optimal health again the person suffering with chronic, multiple chronic diseases, right? Reversed, literally. They've been on tablets for 10, 20 years and suddenly it's reversed in 90 days to six months because they've introduced red meat back into their diet. It's doing incredible things for people. It's done fantastic things for me and I hope that it could do great things for you as well. So there we have it. That's a typical day for me. Um, on a carnivore diet, building muscle and, uh, you know, maintaining optimal health. Don't get me wrong, you know, not every day is like that. Some Sometimes I fall off track. Sometimes I cheat. I might have a bit of chocolate here and there. You know, I'm not going to portray this absolute perfect lifestyle of eating meat and that's it. But 99% of what I'm eating is what you've just seen. And that is literally how my days most of the time, 99% of the time, that's how they look. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. Share it with somebody as well. It could be useful to someone. And subscribe for more muscle building content, more carnival content. That's coming out very soon. I'll speak to you soon.